Recently, I came across this channel called Macro Room, and they've got a lot of cool macro content along with all this other cool video effects. And I came across this one video called Everyday Objects in Macro, and I thought it'd be pretty cool as a macro photographer to react to it and see if I can guess which objects he's either taking photos of or videos of. Because I'm used to looking at things up close and taking pictures of them, and I'm kind of curious if I can guess what they are. And obviously, if you want, you can play along and see if you can guess them yourself. Put in the comments if you got any of them or not. Also, I apologize. I apologize if you hear any other random noises or voices going on because it is the holidays and there's many people over and you might hear some odd noises here and there so I apologize for that but anyways let's get into this video and see if we can guess any of these macro photos. Okay so right off the bat here this this is the stem of an apple. This is a pretty easy one. Obviously this guy didn't create this to make it hard or difficult to guess what it is. Maybe he did um, but this yeah this is the stem of an apple or could be like a pear or something, so then I guess I would be wrong. But no, I'm pretty positive that's the stem of an apple. Wow, that's pretty cool. The The way, the effect that he does when he zooms out, that's pretty hard to do because he's either, he either has his camera on like a track or something and then he's like stitching that together. I don't know how he does that, but that's pretty cool. I wanna learn how to do that. All right, going to the next one. At first glance, I definitely thought this was some sort of vegetable, like a red bell pepper. But now that I'm looking at it, it looks like metal of some sort. It's got some paint chips. That's what that is on the left and right there. It's very curvy. Um, maybe some sort of like old retro toy, maybe, because it's like worn and it's got that bright red. A lot of, I think a lot of retro toys had that like bright red. Let's go with a toy, a toy of some sort. An old toy. Oh my goodness. It was the cap of a Coca-Cola bottle. You gotta be kidding me. That's pretty cool. Now that I see it zoomed out, it's like, okay, yeah, I should have got that. Damn. All right, this next one. It kind of looks like fiber optics, sort of, but I know this is close. Like this is really like a macro shot. So I think fiber optics would be thicker than that, maybe. But I, I, I'm seeing some more like blue bristles. Oh, you know what? This, this is a toothbrush. This is the bristles of a toothbrush. That's definitely what it is. Yep. Did you guys get that one? I, it took me a second. It took me a second. Okay, this next one. The metal on the left, I'm assuming it's metal. It looks like metal. It kind of looks like the metal on the eraser part of like a pencil that like holds the eraser. But whatever's on the right does not look like an eraser. I mean, it kind of does. It kind of looks like rubber or some sort of plastic. I want to say pencil, like the eraser on a pencil, but that might be too odd. Like the lines in, in the right on that part there, it's kind of throwing me off. Oh, you know what? I think this is gum. I think it's like those thin pieces of gum with like the, the metallic wrapper on it. Cause I know, I remember it's like the lines or something in it, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm glad I changed my mind. Awesome. Okay, this is an easy one. We were just talking about a pencil. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, this is definitely a pencil. You can tell by the shaving, the design and the wood, the color. But it's pretty cool seeing the, the wood grain up close. It almost looks like some sort of like candy or, or gummy or, or something, uh, almost like a fiberglass almost. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this is definitely a pencil. A classic pencil. Next one. All right, we're staying on theme here. He must have just like picked stuff out of his uh, out of his pencil case or something, because this is definitely a sharpener. You can tell it's a very sharp blade on the left and the screw holding it all together. It's like one of those tiny ones. Yeah, yeah, I was pretty confident with that one. These are pretty easy, but let's see if they get any more difficult. Okay. All right, they got a little more difficult. At first glance, I have no idea what this could be. Um, it looks very dirty. These, all these ridges here, I'm gonna have to go off of that because I have no idea what's on the left and the right. It's just metal. Um, something mechanical. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's a lighter. The part where your thumb, you know, it sparks, sparks the lighter. I'm gonna go with that because I honestly have no idea what else it could be. Yeah, that was a good guess. I wasn't 100% on that one, but I think I, you know, I was like, eh, 60, 70. Nice. 
Did you guys get that one? Okay. Now I have to think macro. This is very small. I immediately wanted to think like Christmas wrapping or some sort of like tinsel, you know what I mean? But tinsel is actually pretty big. Like I think that would cover up most of the shot. So this seems to be smaller and there's a lot of it. Kind of like either a clump of it or it's woven together. Um, man, what could this be? It's green. So it's like, it's really making me think Christmas. I gotta go with some sort of decoration. I can't really think of what else this could be. Maybe he was just pulling stuff out of the or the closet for the holidays. I don't know. It's not, this video wasn't made around this time, but you never know. Oh, it's one of those, it's one of the things you use for cleaning plates and stuff like the, what do you call it? The the metal wool, I forget what it's called. But I, if he would have shown this little part with the food on it, then maybe I would have gotten it. But man, that looked like a Christmas decoration or something just because of the color and the metallic and the shininess. Damn, that one got me. I'm a little upset with that one. Okay, um, this looks like another lighter to me, like another shot of the, you know, the, the sparky thing. <laughs> but I don't think he would show two lighters in one video unless he just ran out of objects in his house. Um, again, it's mechanical, it's metal, it's rusty. I mean, it looks old. It could just be an old rusty lighter. I have no idea what else this could be. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with another, maybe it's like one of those old fashioned lighters. I don't know. What are you? A wrench. Oh my god. Yeah, see, like, I'm not a very handy person, so I'm not around tools all the time. So I definitely didn't even think of that. That did not cross my mind. Oh my goodness. A wrench. Yeah, it's the adjustable piece. Damn, I should have. I should have gotten it, but yeah. Again, I had zero chance. That wasn't even. Didn't even cross my mind. Did you guys get that one? Because I definitely didn't. Okay, this is different. We've had a lot of metal ones and this one is now kind of like a cloth material of some sort. That rope is very small because again, this is for macro. The material looks, uh, it, like it looks very natural the way it is because it's got so many fibers in it and it's got this fold almost like a triangle, like it's kind of coming in together. But what rope would be that small? Because it would probably be like few centimeters or millimeters and it's got that. Actually, I think I might know what this is because my girlfriend has it all the time. It's a tea bag. That's definitely a tea bag because it's got like a single string coming and it's got that like folded. Yes, it's a tea bag, Lipton tea bag. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay. This is obviously a camera lens, a camera lens to what I have no idea. And I think that might be impossible to guess. It could just be a regular camera, I guess. I don't know. Oh wow, that is an old GoPro, a Hero 4. I don't even know what year that would be. I don't think this video is old. I think this, he probably just had this laying around his house, I'm assuming, and he's like, oh yeah, here's a random object. That was an easy one. Okay, this is interesting. We got some abstract stuff going on on the left and some sort of coil, um, it's very shiny everywhere, reflective. To me, it looks like one of those old fashioned like bulbs, like the, um, what do you call them? It had the name, the name to someone, Edison, Edison bulbs. I think it's an Edison bulb or just a bulb, one of those old bulbs. Cause that would be the coil, like the filament. And it's like shiny, glassy. Did I get it? Yes. Okay. It wasn't like those Edison bulbs, but it's like, a, you know, an older bulb. We don't really use those anymore. Okay. Off to the next one. Okay. Uh, green it looks like a plant of some sort. I'm assuming it's very dirty. I think that's like dirt maybe and we got some red up in the corners here um, It's got to be a plant of some sort Red oh, oh, is it a tomato? It's a tomato. It's definitely a tomato. That's like the piece where you know it connects to the plant definitely a tomato Oh, there's like little you see that there's like little bugs there's like little bugs crawling around. He must have just picked this and just took a shot of it. That's pretty cool. It's like a little mite. Tomato. We got it. We know our macro. Okay. Um, uh, wow. 
What is this? What is this? I do not think I'm gonna get this one. This is so random. Uh, I think I'm just gonna, I don't even have a guess as to what this could be. I got nothing. I have absolutely nothing. This could be anything. Yeah, let's just see what it is. Cause I, I honestly don't know what that is. A key. Oh my goodness. I've never seen a key like that before. I think, yeah. See, I have a key here. It does not have those circular engravings. It's just straight lines and some jagged lines. I would have, ne I mean, if I would have seen something like with this jaggedness to it, I maybe could have got that. I've never seen a key like that before though. That one got me. That one was impossible. I don't think, if you got that, amazing job. Okay, on to the next one. This time it looks like food. We haven't had a food one, well, a tomato. Um, but it looks like, it looks like two brownies kind of hovering above each other. Like there's nothing in between. It kind of just looks like hollow. Although there might be something in between because the focus is very narrow. It looks like two brownies and it's kind of gross because there's like, it looks like a hair right there. Uh, I don't like hair in my brownies. Um, yeah, food, chocolate of something, like brownie. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with brownies. I don't, I don't know, brown, yeah. An Oreo. <laughs> I mean, I was close, I guess. Uh, oh, I thought, I thought the middle part was just hollow, like there was nothing in it, but it's the filling. Oh man, that one got me. Now I want Oreos. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. Oh, that's an easy one. Ballpoint pen. Got it. Yep. Okay, this is obviously a screen of some sort. Uh, those are like the individual pixels, red, green, blue. I don't think I can get exactly what it is, but that's practically what it is. Oh, okay. I guess this is, yeah, this is definitely the end of the video. I didn't see how, what timestamp we were at here. That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a pretty cool way to, to end the video. Good for him, that's awesome. That was pretty cool. Just random objects. I might make my own video of that and see how it goes. Just pick random things around the house. I actually do have a series like this video on Instagram and TikTok where I'm taking pictures of food and people are trying to guess what it is. And it's been doing really well. A lot of people um, have been getting into it and they've been enjoying it. So many people haven't been getting them and I think I might be making it too hard, but I like, you know, I like a challenge. I like you give you guys a challenge. But I enjoyed that a lot. If he has any more videos like that, I'm definitely gonna react to that because this was fun. I hope you guys were playing along, trying to guess any of them. If you got any of them, let me know. If you got any of the ones that I didn't get, I'll be very impressed. And if you guys like this video and you like macro content, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you guys later and happy holidays.